हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इनडिटर्मिनेसी ऑफ ट्रसेस नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड हियर द स्टैटिक इनडिटर्मिनेसी एज वेल एज द काइनेमेटिक इनडिटर्मिनेसी ओके नाउ व्हाट इज स्टैटिक इनडिटर्मिनेसी ऑल द अननोन फोर्सेस दैट इज इंटरनल रिएक्टिव फोर्सेस एज वेल एज एक्सटर्नल रिएक्टिव फोर्सेस in addition to the condition of equilibrium are known as static indeterminacy it means that all the unknown external reactions as well as all the unknown internal reactions which cannot be determined by the theory of equilibrium alone is known as static indeterminacy okay now we know the formula of static indeterminacy it will be equals to sum of external static indeterminacy and internal static indeterminacy now we need to find here the external static indeterminacy and the internal static indeterminacy okay now for the calculation of external static indeterminacy the formula remains same as that of beams and frames that is r minus s where r is the support reaction and s is the equilibrium condition now in trusses there will be always three equilibrium condition so its value will be equals to 3 that is net forces in y direction equals to 0 net forces in x direction equals to 0 it means that all the vertical forces is equals to 0 summation of all the vertical forces equals to 0 summation of all the horizontal forces equals to 0 and net moment at any point is 0 okay now we need to find the internal static indeterminacy for the calculation of internal static indeterminacy one formula is there that is m minus 2j minus 3 where m is the number of members j is the number of joints and 3 is a constant now if m is equals to 2j minus 3 then it is known as internally determinate truss or perfect truss okay because if m is equals to 2j minus 3 then we will be able to determine each and every unknown parameter of the truss now if m is greater than 2j minus 3 then the truss will become internally indeterminate okay and if m is less than 2j minus 3 then unstable truss or deficient truss will be there okay now in this way we can determine the internal static indeterminacy as well as external static indeterminacy now next is the kinematic indeterminacy of trusses now in trusses each joint will go or will carry two types of displacement that is horizontal displacement as well as vertical displacement it means that each and every joint in truss will be subjected to two possible movements that is horizontal movement and vertical movement here rotation is not possible because the loading is always done on the joints okay never the load is applied to the member okay that's why rotation of member will be not allowed in the trusses okay now at hinge support we know that there is a degree of freedom which will be equals to 1 that is rotation but we don't allow rotation in trusses that's why in trusses at hinge support there will be no degree of freedom because we are not considering rotation here okay now at roller support there will be two degree of freedom that is horizontal displacement and rotation but in trusses we are not going to consider the rotation because we are not allowing the rotation in trusses so if we are not considering the rotation in each and every joint so the rotation will not be there only horizontal movement will be there that's why at roller support only one degree of freedom will be there that's why a note is written here at hinge support zero movement or zero possible movement will be there at roller support one possible movement will be there and at joint or at each and every joint there will be two possible movement that is vertical and horizontal movement and at roller only horizontal movement will be there why because rotation of joints are not considered in trusses since members cannot bend okay students that is all about the indeterminacy of trusses thank you very much